Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Trace Nunez, and our spiritual council. We're so thankful to be here with all of you to share today's collective energetic read. Keep in mind, we are reading collective energies. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You are and forever will be the masters of your experiences of what you will or what you will not into this creation. We're going to go ahead and get started right away by honoring and thanking our spiritual council. I want to honor and thank my abuelita Gladys Nunez Mal. I also want to honor and thank my abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. I invite you to do the same as I do honor your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you. I invite you to honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded and connected to the all as you are in this experience. You can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves. And that's also more than enough. Let's get started.
What's up? What is up? What is up? How's it going? How's it flowing? What's popping? What's cracking? <laughs> we are reading for um, reading collective energies for uh, technically Gregorian August second, uh, second, second, la second, el segundo is coming in. El segundo could be significant for some. Uh -huh. I am getting primer impacto for some who speak Spanish or something about primer impacto or something about the news in Spanish. Um, but um, <clears throat> clearing those throat chakras, we are actually reading for uh, Gregorian July not July 2nd, but for some of you, July 2nd through the 4th could have really marked your field. Uh, but we are reading for uh, August 2nd, 2023, um, keeping in mind that in spirituality, time is fluid. So our construct and the labels that we use for time, they're just kind of to keep us in a little bit of a box. Um, there are endless ways to tell time. There are endless calendar systems uh, that have been in existence and that will be in existence. And at this particular time, there are over 40 calendar systems in existence. So keep Keeping in mind that the way that we use the calendar, uh, the linear and box thinking and, and um, uh, reductionist, the reductionist models for so many things um, to reduce time into a frame, time frames, um, keeping in mind that those are fluid in the spiritual realm. So when you are brought to view this, that is when you need it. Um, and if you're not brought here, that's also when you don't need it. <laughs> um, two energy, two energy is duality. Two energy um, allows us and uh, invites us. We may need this. Um, two energy invites us to look at the dual nature of things. Two energy brings in a split in a situation. Uh, think of how, um, for example, I'm seeing babies for an atom splitting. So for some, pregnancy is in your field. It has been in the reading. So for some, you could be learning of a pregnancy or there, um, or you will be pregnant soon. Um, it's making me. Oh, so you need to like hold it back. Uh, but um, uh, two energy is really, really good when it comes to uh, partnerships, friendships, like two people. Um, three is a crowd when it comes to two energy and it is felt because it brings in a sensitivity. It's like a two of cups energy. When you start to add more cups to a situation, um, it becomes uh, diluted. And so the energies are now flowing into uh, other spaces, which create a bigger net for something. However, something about the internet, something about a networking event, um, they create a, a, a bigger net. However, um, the energies tend to be less, um, less, um, constricted, but also less, uh, uh, coagulated, less potent. The potency is, it's kind of like it dilutes as, uh, it's kind of like diluting water. Um, that's interesting. Everything that is coming in. Um, but, um, so two energy is a duality Two energy for some of the sciences could be significant. And I'm getting the name Cindy or Cynthia, um, two energy. So I'm getting the name Stephanie as well. Um, and I'm getting the name Annie Two energy, a lot of females involved in a situation, but two energy, um, can bring in envies and enemies as well. Uh, two energy can bring in, um, especially if it's a very strong bond, it's like wanting, it, it, it almost attracts other energies into that and, and, it, and uh, it may in turn um, invite you to isolate yourself, especially when it comes to significant others. Two energy is really, really good when it comes to um, marriage or commitment or higher level commitment to someone, a spiritual union. Um, but uh, it's all on this Wednesday, on Wednesday, which are... Uh, uh, which rules the contracts. It's interesting because Wednesday always reminds me of like wedding. Um, and uh, Wednesday, uh, Mercury energy, not Mercury energy. Yes, it is Mercury energy. Mercury energy rules uh, the written. So for some, there could be a very great union when it comes to a written contract. You could be getting into a contract with a solid partner or some a solid partnership, something about simps, something about the sims. Uh, some can work in technology, <clears throat> clearing those throat chakras, but I'm seeing the sims and uh, artificial intelligence. I used to love that game uh, and you used to be able to uh, plan out your life. <laughs> the sims the sims marked them all right let's do it let's go let's flow i'm seeing the ace of spades with the king of spades for, for some signing a contract with an organization or legal documents or medical documents or banking documents i guess that's technically a legal document no 
all types of documents, but there will be a signature. The Ace of Spades bring in, brings in an officialization of something. Uh, it brings in a signature. <clears throat> ooh, a transformation as I was going to, ooh, the butterfly. Um, as I was going to say for some, this could be after an ending of a contract, you'll be going straight into another contract. That's really nice. Here we have a king of diamonds, a military person, someone in uniform. And here we have movement. For some of you, uh, international travel. This is international travel or long distance travel. Uh, for some, this uh, for some it could just be traveling not too far from where you live and going to see someone who is in a uniform or works in a uniform or um, or someone that has foreign origins than you. Um, but uh, for others, this is international travel, traveling at a distance. That's fun. It has begun. I'm seeing Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> it has begun. Dum, 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 dum. And I'm getting 007. <coughs> <I'm eating. coughs> Jesus. For some, someone needs to really speak their truth when it comes to a situation. Someone really is being invited. This one really wants to speak. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it on the side. To speak their truth when it comes to something or be their truth or walk their truth. Walk in the path of truth. Here we have a lady. Who's that lady? We have a lady. We have a lady. The Queen of Clubs re represents uh, something about rest. Something about an arrest. Ah, what? Stop. Um, I'm seeing stop signs in France. Um, but um, the Queen of Clubs represents a lady. Um, the quarant as a female. Or it could represent the quarant's partner if you are a man or if you're dating a woman. Uh, it could represent your partner or it represents the quarant as a woman. This one wants to speak as well on the side. You got projects, 10 of hearts energy. You got projects. So all of this has to do with projects that you are working on, manifesting, things that are very emotional and important to you. Uh, so we have queen of clubs energy. We have a king of hearts energy. We have an ace of hearts energy. We have a queen of diamonds. We have a king of clubs, Jesus. We have a 10 of diamonds. We have a 10 of spades. Cuts the story. So in this present Mormon, something about the Mormon, uh, you got some type of joy. Something about the Mormon. Something about Connecticut. Boom. Uh, the spades do cut the story. So we have a, a woman, uh, queen of clubs energy. Uh, this could be you or your partner. Uh, we have a king of hearts, which could represent the quarant's father, or it could represent a well-meaning man in a situation. Uh, for some, you could be moving in with a father figure after having some type of a fallout with your significant other because this person is changing very quickly and they are looking like they're going to run off with somebody else. That's how it looks. Oh, and the the fallout of the you see how the ace of hearts wants to fall. The ace of hearts is the couple. It's the home. It's um for some there's a droppage of a of a couple or a home because uh, it looks like a significant other. It's literally it's so funny. It's literally uh, the significant other is is now it changing mo making moves when it comes to a queen of diamonds. Uh, when it comes to for some, I am I don't normally get it this way, but for some this is how it's coming in. It's this is not necessarily um uh an ill an ill wish. This is not necessarily an uh a nuisance. Oh Jesus, okay. Something you don't see or someone doesn't see this person. Uh, maybe you don't even know this person for some, um, but there is a significant other who is involved with uh, another female or if they're not involved with another female, there is another female around this person that they are interested in moving forward with. That's how it's coming in. Um, and there will be some type of a fallout of a union. For some, you can get support when it comes to a, a, a from a father figure or a well-meaning man that will support you through some 
some type of change when it comes to a house situation um, because uh, you will need to move for some you need to move uh, maybe for some you're getting again support from family members um, to help you through these times uh, because again this doesn't necessarily feel like this woman is a bad woman per se it feels like the quarant is looking at this woman as her enemy because this woman is um, her ex-partner's new person. That's how it's coming in, my loveys. It normally doesn't come in that way. Um, but that is how it's coming in. Uh, for some, uh, you can get support from a father figure when it comes to a house situation, which is always great. Um, and uh, for some, there is a queen of diamonds and a king of clubs, which represents your partner. Um, uh, and there are changes in this present moment when it comes to these people. Bomba ekut. And in the end, everybody will be happy. It's in the periphery, meaning these are these are inevitable events that it's kind of just like spirit doesn't need anyone to pay too much attention to these things because what you need to focus on is your projects. That's where your energy needs to be directed. For some, we have a sister, a friend, or a daughter in dominant energy. A queen of hearts is a sister, it's a friend, it's a daughter. For some of you, I am feeling strong, a sister. This is a sister for some. I'm getting the name Nafi. I'm getting the name Jennifer. Uh, for some of you, you have a well-meaning person that can help you when it comes to money. For some of you, you can get help from a sister. Again, from some, for some of you, you have a family members that really support you um, and that can lend you money. For others, you have a well-meaning friend in a work situation. A uh, young brunette, but you have administrative paperwork coming in. Again, money is at the forefront uh, to fund projects, to fund a new house for some uh, after moving out of a situation with a spouse. You have a new house and you can get a lot of support from... <clears throat> But the truth is important because we have a lot of money here. For some, there's conversations about a significant amount of money. This is a lot of money. Um, for some, there's a sister that could tell you that she's going to get a new job. And uh, it's going to go really, really well for her. For some of you, there are delays in this situation. For some of you, there are delays when it comes to a work situation. For some of you, there are there are uh, visuals. There's some type of visual in the long run that needs to happen, a face-to-face -face that will bring in um, a change in a situation for some. Uh, visuals that are currently blocked. But here we have money in the middle of all of this. Again, 999 energy. That's a lot of money involved in a situation. Um, you do have some type of face-to-face -face with some paperwork. For some of you, you could be finding out that there was some money that was blocked because of something that was done uh, illegally, I am getting. There was issues with paperwork when it comes to money. It was an illegal move. Someone did something illegally. This could be you or someone around you. Take it how it resonates. And it's created uh, an issue when it comes to paperwork. Here we have, it's all about the Benjamins, Jesus. We have uh, communication, a lot of communication, uh, text messaging, calling, talking. Uh, for some, you have some com uh, conversations, uh, community and converse. Uh, Seven of Diamonds energy conversation that's going to anger you a little bit. Uh, some of you are not feeling well psychologically or emotionally because of blocks. Uh, because for some, there's someone who suffers from anger issues and uh, the anger really... Uh, um, has them not doing okay psychologically you do have some type of there's a sister or a friend who has success in a situation or for some of you there was a little bit of a betrayal when it comes to anger uh king of spades energy and some type of uh again for some there was a, a betrayal when it comes to some type of legal procedure or some type of of uh, legal documents or documents that needed to like be signed in a certain way or be signed by somebody and it's like a fraudulent signature or something being notarized that was a bs like bs project or b now i'm getting something about grants <laughs> i'm getting something about government grants but for some you have some type of a contract um that uh, will be successful uh here we have a queen of spades energy here we have a mother uh, a friend uh, a mother or a daughter okay and i'm getting a mother effort i don't know why i don't know why it's coming in for some of you you'd like to use that word um for some of you you could be hearing that a mother is sick and she will be hospitalized because of all of the lies they catch up to us, my lovies. I don't care if you're a mother or a father or a brother or a sister or a wife or a husband. Uh, we, no one's above uh, universal law. 
your lies are your lies they catch up to you your hate is your hate it catches up to you um your curse work is your curse work it catches up to you that is what it is you do have a queen of spades so for some of you you will be very upset to learn about a situation with a mother involving a medical a situation or for some there could be someone who becomes very sick after they get really bad news um that they planted seeds for someone could have planted really uh bad new like it's like someone did something or a family did something when it comes to a legal procedure and it, it had it involves a lot of money and now they're going to be angry one may even feign sick or um, not feign because they will be it's going to hit their energy field um but um there's a lot of black in here there's a lot of of spade and money a lot of logic a lot of thinking that's why it all came in earlier um with a calendar system people that think logically people that don't uh, don't don't necessarily work off of emotion and emotion is important um For some, there's a medical treatment that is currently blocked for some. Someone may not be able to afford a medical treatment because something is very expensive. For some, you technically have three females showing their faces, being this energy has been very present, being very cautious who you call your friends. The V, something about V, being very prudent when it comes to uh, friendships. Not everybody that smiles at you is your friend no, or has great intentions for you. It's okay to smile. It's okay to be kind. Um, but when it's time to reel it back, it's time to reel it back. Something about a heart attack. Something about Zach. We have three nines here. Three nines is uh, money coming in. So for some of you, you do have a significant am amount of money that you are currently negotiating that's currently blocked and it has you angry and stressed. This could come to through some type of institution. This could be a loan. This could be uh, something that is a significant, it's a significant amount of money. It's a few thousand dollars for some or more for others. <clears throat> and something about the brothers. <clears throat> Jesus. For some, you have two sevens here. Two sevens is, is news, something new that you will be finding out. But again, for some, this news may piss you off. Um, you technically have two aces and two uh, two women, and that's a betrayal. For some of you, you have two eights. So again, uh, in terms of, of new relationships, uh, it's a really good match. For some of you, uh, for some of you, after leaving uh, a relationship, um, you have a really good match. You have something you're attracting uh, a true union, a true bond, because for some of you, you could have just been involved with someone out of convenience or because you live together or because you paid the bills together. or It was just something easy. It's something about someone sleazy. Bombay. Technically, you have two tens. So uh, you do have some type of project that you're working on that you're starting. Mm, okay. All right, we're going to cover this, um, how we do this. We're going to cover this uh, Seven of Diamonds. Anger. For some of you, you're angry when it comes to news about money. Uh, from a sister, a daughter, or a friend. I had a feeling that she was going to come out. Because um, I wanted to cover her too. But I'm like, it'll come out. Um, Spirit Spirit told us. So you have a jack of diamonds with this uh, sister. You'll be getting news from a sister that's going to anger you. Or from a friend. Uh, I'm getting strong sister though. For some, you'll be getting... Um, and it has to do with a lot of money that they were trying to block. Someone was trying to block a lot of money for uh, for una dama to a, to a gentle lady. Uh, a lady that uh, was well-meaning to this sister who's a traitor. That's how it feels, my lovies. For some of you, you have a... Um, this could be you or someone around you. Take it how it resonates. That's how the energy is coming in. It's coming in with a little bit of irritation. For some of you, you have been communicating quite a bit with a, a gentleman. Uh, it will bring you joy and there will be some type of an invitation. For some of you, you've been communi communicating, communing. Uh, this could be someone that you're getting to know. This could be a friend. Um, but this person is uh, well-meaning, even though they could be a little superficial. They like to dress well. They like to look good. They could be very sporty. They like to... Uh, something about a sports car. 
car. Um, but this person, uh, for some, this person wants to invite you somewhere. You could get an invitation from a friend, and it is successful. But there have been delays for some of you because you're worried about other things. But um, there's a well-meaning gentleman um, that uh, maybe wants to talk, maybe wants to... Yeah, this is a well-meaning man. Uh, but for some of you, you're worried or there's worries with a significant... This is there's worries. There's a sister. There's uh, worries with a significant other when it comes to changes. When it comes to um, their health, for some there could be or a well-meaning man around you who's worried about their health, who's worried about the blocks. Certainly, who wants a new beginning. For some, there's a gentleman who wants a new beginning, who wants out of a picture. For some, there's a gentleman who wants out of something and he wants a new beginning, and it has him worried. Bon bye, good, my lovies. Absolutely. Um, a lot of sickness in the field. <laughs> it feels like it. For some of you, you'll be hearing from a sister or a friend who's also not doing very well. The energies feel very depressed, I have to say. There's a lot of sadness that are that's processing because it almost feels like uh, reality is setting in as to actions that were taken. And uh, we're faking. Some were faking something. Some lied about stuff that was... That serious things that affected uh loved ones or people that had emotion in a situation and so now it's like that karma when it hits it's really um when it re really hits you what you're really doing it's uh it's really and who you're really screwing here we have a king of hearts and certainly uh there's an invitation there's a lady there's joy there's people that don't have someone's best interest in mind involved in a situation boom bye good my love okay i think that was good that was good, my lovies. For some of you, we'll be getting communications from, from uh, again, a sister. I am getting it as strong as a sister for some. Or someone who's very close to your family, meaning the family you were born into. Not your family, not the one you've created, but the family you were born into. There is a sister who wants to communicate. Or a, or a lady who wants to communicate. But um, that's the dominant energy. But this person lied and tried to hide money. Ain't that funny? Ain't it funny? They try to block something. 2720. Blocks. 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 This person's still trying to block a family. There's a family who was trying to block a situation. For some, there's blocks when it comes to or someone was trying to block a house situation for you. Boom bye coots, my lovies. Give them the boot, my lovies. Um, we want to what do we say? What do we do? Here, we'll we'll do this because this is how we're feeling. We'll give you we'll give you a little bit more. There was a lot of legal things in there. That's it felt like a lot of legal energy, a lot of procedural energy, um, which could be very heavy energy, especially when there's betrayal involved and deceit and conniving energies, competitive, envious energies. That energy gets really heavy really quick. Saturn Saturn energy always teaches us very different different and difficult lessons. They usually come through the law. And uh <sighs> It, they're, they're hard to learn you have some type of distant horizon you have a dream state you have travels for some for some you could be uh uprooting you could be taking your anchor out of where uh out of the ground that you're in and moving somewhere uh but this is somewhere far for some there's a lot of communication because i'm seeing the seagull i'm seeing the birds um for some of you could be moving overseas because i'm seeing the seahorse uh for some of you, you could be moving to a woodsy area you can be uprooting and moving far. Distant Horizon also talks about being in a dream state when it comes to a situation, uh, being in some type of an illusion when it comes to a situation. These are things that are not happening right away. These are things that have taken a long time. There's a theme here. For some, um, there have been delays that have been delayed for years. Something could have been delayed for years. I'm getting four years. There could have been a four-year delay when it comes to something. The number 36 could be significant for some, but that's a nine, which is an ending. A lot of nine energy. We have despair. It feels like a lot of people in despair. Uh, the number 32 could be significant for some. Uh, someone could be uh, experiencing a, a period of homelessness uh, with a dog. Um, and I'm talking about like real homeless, like not having a place, not even having like a vehicle to sleep in. Um, I'm not, and no one's homeless. This is your home. But um, someone can be sleeping outdoors. I am seeing that. 
someone someone that you know that may not have been loyal in the past because i'm the spirit's putting an emphasis on the dog um someone's in despair over having to sleep outdoors not having a home uh someone's about to lose everything like they don't even have a house they don't have a they don't have a car they don't have a or they're about to uh, I'm getting and all they do is think about you and then I'm also getting their karma and I'm getting someone that's very mean like someone's really mean it's almost funny um someone's really mean spirited um so someone with, I'm getting someone with a beard or something about a beard um someone's very mean spirited um they have a really an interesting scent it's almost like vinegary someone like salt and vinegar chips or something like that and here we have a mature woman an older female for some uh here we have the number six this could be a mother this could be an older female this could be someone that um uh was uh well positioned to be in something this person expected something this person was expecting something a liar this is something about a hit for hire This woman was expecting something. She was expecting something. She was expecting to get away with something. It's funny because Spirit gave us a sign yesterday. Um, someone could have uh, exposed this woman. Uh, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Um, now this woman is in despair. This woman is in despair over an ending. This woman is looking for everyone to blame except for herself. Sometimes you got to say to yourself, my love... Um, all my lies, all of my deceit, all of you have to start to really look at yourself. For real, my lovies, because someone's kinda like it's a it's a big deal. It's something that's really serious. Something's really serious. And someone's really um someone's in despair. There's a lady who's in despair. The number thirty eight could be significant for some. Again, we have the number thirty six, we have the number six, the choice, the lovers. Someone's really in despair, but it's like are you surprised? Why are you surprised? I get surprised when people get surprised uh, when their lives don't turn out well. It's like when their schemes don't turn out well. Here we have a mature man in bad health. This woman is in, I'm telling you, my lovies, this woman was in some type of couple that is ending. Because this man is also stressed because he's seeing something. For some, you could learn of a couple who's the woman is in really bad health. Um, this person could end up really, really not in a good position because of errors and omissions she omitted a lot of things when it comes to something or errors and omissions could be significant for them but um she she omitted a lot of things she hid a lot of things it's like my lovey the number 31 and the number five but the number 31 and the number 30 uh and the number 35 and the number five is num is um 36 which is another nine it's an ending and we have 19 we have the coffin here for some you could be learning of a of someone who's really really either terminally ill or really ill like seriously there's a woman who, who overdid her manipulations in a situation and her karma is not going to be easy She's sleazy. That's how it's coming in. She's sleazy. This was someone's um, either miss. It's coming in as a mistress. Like they were, but they're coming in as a couple. I don't get it. How are they? That she's a mistress, but she's also in the couple with this person. For some, you could be learning that there's a woman, again, a, a mother figure for some or an older female who's not okay. But this woman, her soul is not okay. She's angry at life. This woman, it doesn't matter how much she owns, what she has. Um, something about Taz. Something about the Tasmanian devil. Australia could be significant. Someone's traveled to Australia. I'm getting New Zealand. New Zealand could be significant for some. There's a man who's depressed and a woman who is in really bad health. There's a man who could be very, very worried about uh, their, their ex. Or the a hex. They're worried about a hex. You don't want to speak to this, my lovies. She's 
She feels the monster within. <laughs> the monster within. Love conquers all. Natural. The monster within, internal struggle, personal challenges, and wanting to improve. The number 25. Um, by the uh, end of this moon, excuse me, the beginning of the next new moon. Uh, love conquers all. Enduring loyalty, eternal love, and a lasting commitment. Number 24, number 6, the choice, the lovers. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I was getting King of Cups energy and I turn around and I look back and guess 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 who's showing Guess who's showing his face the King of Cups There's someone who's in love with a, a liar. Genuinely, they love this person. Um, this person's really sick. It's like pity. It's I don't know if it's love. I, it's more. It feels like pity. Someone's like committed to someone who's not okay. This person has a monster within themselves. This person is destructive. Um, it's their energy. It's their natural energy. It's important not to lie. And the reason why I feel like I love seeing in the movies when they show like especially like the movies that talk about like magic and, and energy and all of the different beings that exist. There's so many different beings that exist and how, um, you know, when they talk about like coexist, spirit showing us that like coexist, there are beings that once lived for example like neanderthals there are people that still have neanderthal genes they did better in colder harsher climates that's what they were accustomed to moving out of those energies into trying to move into like more tropical settings they clashed with nature they fight with nature they wage war on nature um because it is not their natural setting they're out of their flow with what is their it's like life expect when we talk about like life expectancy or shelf life of something or everything has its life expect expectancy it's like the butterfly that that transmutes its energy and becomes something else after being a caterpillar which was something completely different. Um, but it accepts that it needs to be in certain spaces in order for that to really be of greatest use. Um, something about abuse. It's like someone really fights their, their nature. They want to pretend like they're a Samaritan or they want to pretend like um, like they, they give to nonprofits or they run a nonprofit or they do this or they do that. And this person's really emotionally, physically sick and ill because in turn, this person will try to destroy others in other ways. And then there's someone who is, because of time because of some type of loyalty this person is in despair but this this woman's gonna die aquarius the whole a divinely guided situation i don't even know where to put this confusion new love because someone's it's like someone being in love with someone else 
but then also sticking to someone because of loyalties where it's like it's almost like someone's convinced it's like being in love with two people that's how it's coming in this is gonna end it's the tower it's gonna end it's gonna end because it's like you never really even knew this person this person hides the monster within someone thinks they know someone this reminds me of people i've seen in really really toxic relationships destroying each other destroying everyone they come in contact with not giving two shits but people for some reason see them as like upright citizens i'm like okay whatever um but um there was one couple um the woman was married to another man for money. Uh, this man was married to another woman for ma for money, but he it was only supposed to be a business deal, but he crossed the line, and then he started having sex with her, used her for sex, used her for money, um, and then ghosted her, but then had to give her alimony, uh, part of their contract, some crazy shit. Um, and then these two would thrive off of sharing this trauma or these traumas, trauma bonding with each other and then <sighs> this they would argue about what they were going to do in their future um this man was a liar he would invite people into his lion's den uh this have to do with leo um he would invite people into his lion's den of lies and then slowly but surely show all of this um and not even some people didn't get to see all of this Forty-one, fourteen, mirroring energy But these people convinced themselves that they had some type of deep love because they were in, in super toxicity. Um, this woman ended up playing this man like a sucker. <laughs> Mother effer. That's what's coming in. Um, this woman is weak. There's also a, queen, a king of cups. She's making him weak. She is making this man weak. He wants to go over the bad health. These people are in bad health because of the monster within. They need to change their life of sin. It's like, sometimes you gotta let go of, of what you know. Because sometimes what you know is is not love. Ace of Swords, it is the truth about this King of Swords. Someone's seeing this now. They're seeing this. This could be a, uh, this could, for some, this could be a wicked ex. For others, or someone who has you in some type of hex. Um, keeping you very sick. Uh, for others, this could be a mother figure. Someone's taking the blindfold off. Because it's very it's very intoxicating. Someone wants someone to believe they're in love. The way it comes in is very sinister. Someone's so sinister. <sighs> they have hope in healing a situation. They've been watching someone. Because it's like someone's now... Some, sound? Sandra. Sound? They've been watching new love because now someone's realized what love is versus... It's like comparing. There's a community issue here. This woman has this man stressed with a community. This woman can also be involved with another man uh, who's in a mental prison. This woman plays with magic to keep someone confused about moving forward and offering someone something somewhere else. This man has triumph. Uh, there's some type of an opportunity coming in to get himself unstuck because with this woman, she is stuck. This woman, oh my gosh, this is a... This, these people are sick. This person wants some type of new passionate beginning somewhere else. We have the Four of Swords with the Eight of Swords. Someone's trying to heal from this. But it's like, how do you heal from this if you're still trying to, like, keep a friendship with this? Like, they're still trying to collaborate. It's like someone going for some... They're taking their blindfold off. This person could have manipulated their way into this man's life. So, like, even if you've known her for, like, X amount of time, someone manipulated their way into this man's life. <clears throat> There's two towers here. There's a death and an ending. There's a death and an ending. There's a tower and a coffin. <sighs> Spirit's saying three pages, but I don't see three pages. But um, we have the page of swords with the page of, of cups. This woman, this woman, is this like the, that, um, 
It's like someone that always has someone like either being watched or always like trying to be in someone's energy in some way. Someone's being watched by a community that this woman knows. This man is in some type of mental prison and it's making him sick. Emotionally, he doesn't know what to do and it's making him sick. Does she care? She lies a lot. He lies a lot too, though, because if if how how do you? I don't. Excuse me, my lovey. This could be you or someone around you. Take it how it resonates. We're getting a few different energies, but the gist is it makes the emotions go. Someone wants to move forward with a new love opportunity. They've been watching someone for a while. They could have betrayed someone to stay in this uh, connection. For some, someone's trying to research or trying to find new love offers. And new love offers are coming in. For some, you have really loyal people coming into your space. It could be for, for courting or it could be for other purposes. Take it how it resonates. Especially after dealing with some fake people. Someone cares a lot. Because I'm getting like a community is talking about this. Like someone cares a lot about what a community is talking about. Someone's like in a mental prison. They're keeping themselves stuck and they're keeping themselves sick. They're not, it's like. These people don't even, they don't even really see eye to eye. They pretend like they, they lie, spirit saying. They pretend like they get along. They don't even really see eye to eye on a soul level. These people are looking in two different directions and they're both sick. They don't even like each other. That's what I'm getting. It's like, I don't get it. But they've convinced, they've convinced themselves that this is love. They may have a child. For some, someone has a child with somebody. They're not happy. Eventually, they're going to walk away anyways. We have an eight of cups here. Someone's going to walk away to be by themselves for a while. This is going to leave him really depressed because they wasted a lot of time. They're, it's like slowly unsticking, but still, they're still going to be stuck. They wasted a lot of time. It's going to fall apart anyway. Someone's so stubborn. They're really struggling with this. They're not even happy. Mm -mm, they're not happy at all. This is an insincere situation. It, the way it started was manipulative. It's like it was a... It, again, it's like insincerity all around. Boom. It was just a lust. In a house situation. Someone could have rushed in and did like against against their... Against their... um Against their divine intuition... Someone rushed in to live with somebody or do something that spirit was telling them. It's like spirit, I don't know, a friend. Something about a friend. Someone was a friend. This bullshit. Someone was not a friend. Someone chose death in life. And eventually it's going to tower out anyway. And they're not going to have a good time. But you live and you learn. They're waiting on some type of news from a queen of cups. See, looks like someone's thinking about someone else and something else and a bunch of other things, but also pretending like they're in this relationship. Like, why? How do you? It's they're obsessed with another woman as well. 
they have a temptation for another woman capricorn energy something could have started in december or someone they see as love transformation could have to do with a scorpio they are in love with someone else they are literally in love with someone else and it's like what the fuck are you doing my lovey well, who's this someone else they see they want they have some type of tele telepathic bond with this person energetic bond because they're in love the queen of cups to the king of cups to the ten of cups to a telepathic bond and it is balance divine justice it's like what you're waiting for my lovey <laughs> being in a sick ass relationship with a liar I don't know, for me it doesn't do it for me it doesn't do it for me they're moving forward thank goodness because what the hell you gonna fucking die in a shitty sh relationship that's not even real because then you have a main female you actually have your partner that they want to resuscitate something with <laughs> this is crazy something's just crazy i was having a conversation with someone yesterday and he's like, you're very difficult to please. You know that. And I'm like, I'm not difficult to please. I don't think I'm difficult to please. I'm not difficult to please. Anyone that lost, that had me and lost me, they know I'm not that difficult to please. You didn't fucking even do the minimum. I give a lot and you didn't even give me a little bit. Like, not even a fucking little bit. You didn't understand the, the gem you had before you. Why would I stick around? I gave you chances. So I give a lot of chances. Scorpio energy in me is strong. I give a lot of chances, but when it's done, my lovey, that's it, it's done. That's it, it's done. There's, like, there's only so many chances you can give. You can't, know, you can't keep, it's like, so I was having this conversation with this gentleman. And he's like, you're very difficult to please. I'm like, I'm not difficult to please. In fact, you sound like my father. My father told me one day, you're, you're never going to find the perfect man. I don't want a perfect man. Is it too much to ask for someone that's honest, someone that's uh, loyal, someone that's forthcoming, someone that's responsible with my energy, someone that matches my energy and my efforts, someone that's not afraid to give and to receive? Um, is that difficult? Is that asking for too much nowadays? That's, I'm, that's asking for the perfect man. The bare minimum, don't fucking lie to me. Don't play games. Don't approach me on your dumb shit. Is that that difficult to ask for? And you got shamed for asking for the bare... For me, that's the bare minimum. Respect, responsibility, honesty, truthfulness. Don't come to me with your fucking drama. Don't bring me drama. Don't give me fucking competition. Competition who? With who? You got options, my lovey? Go with your fucking options. Don't come to me with that bullshit. It's like, for me, it's, it's so... The callousness of, of, of the patriarchy... It's like, you don't know gems from a hole in the wall. You collect fucking stones and you don't know gems. <laughs> and then they fucking make you the problem. Let me be the problem by myself. Don't fucking talk to me. Don't miss me. Don't look at my page. Don't come to me later. If, you, if, I, if I'm such a, of a problem, why are you so obsessed? Because I am not looking for you and I ain't looking for nobody. I ain't following anybody around. I don't go to nobody's page. That tells you a lot. It's not about looking for perfection, my lovies. It's looking for the real fucking deal. Why would you put up with bullshit? People that like to wear masks. Uh, if I learned anything, it's a lot of people are willing to lie and fake their way into this society. That's cool. I already peeped it. I'm not going to go there. If I can't find something real, I guess we become monks and nuns. If I'm serious, my lovies, in and outers, cheaters, look at the Knight of Wands showing their face. In and outers, cheaters, players, people that like to play a lot of fucking games. Go play your fucking game. Don't waste my fucking time. All types of games. Weirdos. And they think it's fucking funny. Some people are clowns, my lovies. They're clowns and they have no fucking shame. Actually, they do. They have a lot of shame. Something else is coming in. Maybe we'll give it a little bit of more time. Something else is coming in and it's annoying me. It's an annoying energy. It's annoying. I'm a channeler, my lovies. I'm channeling the thoughts, the feelings, the emotions, the frustrations. Something else is coming in. A hidden enemy. Watching everything you fucking do. It's like, what the fuck, my lovey? When did you lose your fucking mind? And how do you go find it? So, it's like, what the fuck are you doing worried about me? I ain't worried about you. 
having free will in a situation someone that has free will in a situation and death rights Ooh, initiations um free will this one always makes me uh laugh because um someone has lost their free will or they don't know what their free will is but this one makes me laugh because she's kind of a clown uh for some of you it's gonna have to do with someone who's kind of a clown the energy that's coming in it's like it's like annoying it's like a shoe fly don't bother me it's like look at this little face like someone's like so pouty and staring and obsessed because they're fucking obsessed um and they drop their crown like they're dropping their crown they are dropping their crown because they don't understand their free will like like they are literally dropping their crown like it's like sliding off of their head as they're just sitting here like this staring at someone else wondering what someone else is doing obsessed about what someone else has it's like my lovey <laughs> they don't see it oh sovereignty independence and a free spirit the number 23 could be significant for somebody here we have the number five in numerology uh someone that can be very artistic or maybe for some someone's blocked because they're so obsessed with uh, someone else's divine light that's how it's coming in because look at this little face like it's such a pretty little face and it's like this and so obsessed and so uh, upset about someone else's will it's like go find your own will my lovey <laughs> go do your own thing it is an initiation. You can't be obsessed with somebody else's path. You can't want to destroy someone else. It doesn't matter how much focus exercises you do. It doesn't matter how many meditation exercises you do to try to have power over somebody else. It doesn't fucking work, my lovies. This is what's coming in. I'm just a channeler. If it is not in line with that person's truth and their own free will, you can't block their free will, my lovey. It doesn't matter how much harassment you try to do, how much steering you do, how much following around you do, how much trying to cock block them, how much trying to get in their path. It doesn't work, my lovies. These are initiations that every single person has to go through. Every single soul. Saying goodbye, formal occasion, and honoring lives. 11 energy. For some, there's a death in your field. Someone's going to lose their life. Well, this one wants to show knowledge, knowledge, study, learning, and education. The number three, an empress. Someone's having some type of an evolution. And it's like... It makes someone else angry. <laughs> That's how it feels. Like, it's like, instead of watching someone so much, why don't you get in touch with yourself? Why don't you go and do the work yourself? That's how it feels, my lovies. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Knight of Cups. Trying to charm someone. Prince Charming energy. Trying to send, again, telepathic uh, communication or some type of energy work or long distance travels for some. Four of Wands, Constructing 1111 Energy, Divine Paths, Ascension Energy. Uh, fool, Taking a Risk, Some Type of New Beginning, Childish Situations. Death, A Transformation. For some of you, you're learning of a death. We said it again. People that are willing to kill themselves, energetically speaking, in an obsession with someone else. If I go somewhere and I'm staring at you for the amount of time that I'm there and I'm not doing anything else but staring at you, I would need to sit with myself and say, self, what are we doing? Why are we doing that? Why? What's the point? There's a transformation here. Someone's going through some type of an initiation to be born again. For some, you could be uh, having a really radical change in a situation. Uh, you could be going through some type of huge initiation. Uh, for some of you, this could have to do with some type of shamanic initiation because I'm seeing this feather. For some of you, it could be shamans or shaw womans. Uh, for some of you, there's a huge initiation in your field. It's a death. It's a rites of passage. For some, it could have to do with conflict. For some, it can have to do with... Um, <sighs> telepathy or telepathic communication for some of you you could be telepathic i mean we all are to different levels but there's some people that are more sensitive and aware
<laughs> someone's trying to block someone's free will fucking stupid that's, that's how it's coming <laughs> for some again it's all part of an initiation though you have to be able to to kind of be in the mundane like the the mundane oh it's, that's dumb why would someone do that blah 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 but then it deeper it means something it's a lesson it's a blessing it's a lesson Someone's trying to block someone's free will uh, to move forward or to have some type of proposition. Someone's going to take a risk anyway. It's like, um, for example, um, it's like being in a group and someone's always constantly trying to prevent two people from speaking or this could be a group of people um, it's like that it's like trying to intervene in the will of, of the energy uh, but no matter what someone's going to try to take a risk because they want a new beginning ace of pentacles there's something that's manifesting it's an energy it has to manifest because it's part of the chest it's part of an, an initiation right it's like rites of passage it's like different rituals at different stages of your life. And they're sometimes embedded in society, but others are more subtle. This could have to do with according. This could have to do with um, uh, coming into a new field. This could have to do with coming into a new passion. This could have to do with coming into a new business opportunity or something that could be very, very fruitful or, or financially stable. But there's someone, again, Knight of Wands energy. There are other conflicting energies that are very passionate in and out. Someone's not sure. They're fearful. The moon energy of Pisces could be significant. Someone's, something has taken a long time. And someone has been watching, researching a queen of pentacles. Someone that they see as a very stable person. Someone took a very foolish risk in something where they got themselves stuck. And here we have a king of pentacles who's been hiding at the end of a chapter for a new opportunity that's taken a really long time because they are scared. <laughs> there are certain things there are certain initiation rights that they need to happen the way they need to happen um you cannot force them you cannot force them you need to let them happen the way they need to happen and someone needs to work through their fears um, no matter what comes, it's like, it's like the lying kin, <laughs> the lying kin, something about the lying kin, a bunch of liars who are kin to this person, friends, family. Um, but, um, it's like the lying king. It's like, you have to go through certain rites of passage in order to like, to go to a religion, some type of like, um, canon rules and commandments like it's like either to break the rules or to rewrite the rules uh based on what you need in your life to not be so um submitted to way to the way a group believes uh or a religion um because a lot of people that i know that go to church i'm like my lovey don't go to f why are you going to church you're so rotten <laughs> like you got rotten goals you're rotten like why would you go to church perverts that go to church um but um, all types of people um, but uh, for some, it's like challenging something within yourself because you need to take a step because there's a supernatural, something supernatural. There's religion and then there's the actual higher levels of spirit. Uh, inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. Something that's um, inexplicable. There's like, um, there's not necessarily a pattern to it, to this initiation. Everybody has to go through their own initiation in their life. And some can be very, very difficult and challenging. There are themes, but something's coming in very quickly. Someone wants to come in and they just want to take a... It's almost like they're going to... For some, there's something that's going to happen. It's almost going to seem like uh, a little haste. Like, it's going to have been something could have been done in haste they want to do it really quickly it's like almost kind of like rushing after not it's like they're, they're it's teetering um aggression they want to try to rush in to heal something spirit is advising temperance sagittarius energy a king of pentacles something someone doesn't see who is very guiltful remorseful and regretful about a loving situ a lover situation uh and something a karmic something a karmic wheel is turning and they want to take a risk it's like they delayed something a really long time someone delayed something a really long time love new love they delayed love a really long time but it's like it's more than just love it's like self it's like self-love it's a new 
again it's like a new way to flow it's a new it's something really supernatural it's something like that can open up like portals to something else that's how it feels certainly spirit saying it's like something really big for some but it comes from an initiation it comes from a refinement boom boom by coots it's a newness it's a it's a, it's a one it's a i'm telling you it's a new beginning energy newness vitality it's a new way of looking at the world but also interacting with the world with more responsibility because there's more power there's more energy behind something there's a new way of looking at loyalty of love of of self-love a little bit of self-righteousness is coming in, but that's okay. 10509 on the clock. 10509, which is six and nine, which is 15, which is six. The choice, the lovers, new paths, a lot of pathways opening. Endings and pathways. I'm seeing like inputs and outputs. Computer systems, programming could be significant for some, but boom, bye, good. All right, my lovies. Well, stay well. That was actually really beautiful. Um, enjoy your new life your new paths your ascensions all of the lessons they are all lessons for all of us my lovies i think it's interesting again we we speak about it kind of like on a mundane level because i feel the energy i feel the emotions of the frustrations and the happiness and the joys and the lusts and the loves and the, all of that um and uh it's interesting to feel it and to and to channel the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions of of, of the individuals in the story but um to see it as like the evolution of energies and the alchemy of energies and how different energies interact and then create uh, other things i think it's interesting i think it's interesting anyway in love always my lovies in love always in love always and forever